Hey, basketball coaches and basketball players, today I'm gonna to give you some of the most easiest basketball moves that you need to know as a basketball player. So let's get down to it. Okay, so number one is the jump stop jump shot. Now, we all know that a jump shot you can step into for your shot. You can also go and receive that ball, step into it and shot. But the most underrated move that you can have when you're taking your shot is the jump stop. And why is this underrated? Well, actually, not really. Michael Jordan used this a lot. And that is the jump stop. So you go, you catch that ball, land on both feet. You actually should be landing on your toes, not your heels like I just did. But you should be going, land on your toes, get down and into your shot. This is gonna give you a lot more power. So for those players who can't reach out to the three point line just yet, this might actually give you the ability to do so. So, to do this, you can dribble up to it, bang, go in for your shot, or get ready, in, and shot. But basically what your whole main idea is for this move is to get into that shot, get on your toes, get low so that you can explode up. This actually cuts down on how much power that you need for your shot in half. So if we watch Steph Curry, a lot of those crazy shots that he'll be going way out here and he actually lands on both feet, even though that is a step back, you're still landing on both feet and exploding up. That's why he's able to jack up shots from anywhere on the court. He uses that to his advantage. Now another move that is super underrated and super easy to do is to catch the ball split foot. And what I mean by that is when you get that ball, you're already split foot. This is what I mean by split foot. But if you're not catching that ball and then exploding off of one leg, you're actually catching that ball already in a motion to go that way. And this is actually gonna help you push off. We've all heard of that negative step, like the bang and into attack mode. No, same thing. And basically, that's the split foot attack, what I call the split foot attack. So you can be dribbling the ball and go bang, down low, and attack. The whole negative step or catching the ball split foot is super underrated, super easy to do, and also it's gonna help you get an advantage on your defender. So this next move is gonna help you beat the defenders in the half court, but also help you defeat and beat the defenders in a full court press. So this next move, is super easy and there's three different ways of doing it. So number one, the whole thing comes down on the landing for a cross. So what you wanna do for a crossover is you wanna dribble up to where you wanna cross over, you wanna land and go. You wanna land on two feet. So if you're doing a regular crossover, bang and explode out or that was two closed feet. That's how I like to do it now because I've had a couple of knee surgeries, but you can go bang, cross, split foot again and attack the other direction. Now, personally, I like to do the together foot for the cross or through the legs. So through the legs and it helps you explode off. Again, remembering to land on those toes. You wanna land on those toes, they'll help you explode out. And this is a super easy move. You can do the same with a behind the back cross as well. And then you can go in and continue through. But the main idea behind this cross is to land on both feet at the same time, land on both on your toes at the same time and explode out. So let's say you're dribbling up towards your defender and then you see an opening, then you can go. Super easy move. Another easy move is to go behind the back double behind the back obviously if you can and take that shot but again that main that main number one crossover landing on both feet on your toes both at the same time to explode out now a lot of people will forget about the low post i'm not in this video low post is one of my favorite positions so number one you want to start on the block however when you receive that ball you want to take a step out hop step so that your both feet are possibilities of being your pivot foot. That way you can turn either way. And a super easy move to use out of this position is a turnaround jump shot. That's really easy. But also, 
the drop step and baby hook. So if you're right about here, you've got that ball. The drop step is super simple. If you've got a defender on this side, you wanna pivot this way. You wanna dribble with two hands. You're allowed to start a dribble any way, which way you want. So you can go two hand dribble. That's gonna give you the power and the inability for players to just start hacking away at that ball. Turn and go for your shot. Now this is super simple. All you're gonna do, very easy. Now, if your defender is on this side of you, when you get that ball, you wanna go drop step towards the middle, one dribble, land on both feet, and go for your baby hook. Now, there's a reason why you wanna land on both feet. I'm gonna explain that in a second, but first, this move, bang, in, easy shot. Now, when you do that move, you wanna go in, have that hand up, for that shot to block that player from blocking your shot. Now, why you wanna land on both feet there? There's a good reason. So, you can go bang, land on both feet, go up for a shot fake. If he goes flying by, you can now pivot and go for a layup on that left side. Now I hope that this video has helped you become a better basketball player. If it has, hit that like button, subscribe, go check out my vertical jump training book down in the description. It's helped a ton of players jump higher. I'll see you guys next time.